Before we get started, let's have a look at the Prediction League leaderboard. After 9 games, Stafford Bantam is still top with a points haul of 25. That gives him a 4 point lead over R. Carroll in 2nd. River City Bantam and Pablo both failed to pick up any points. So they remain in 3rd where they're joined by Stonetsky who jumps 4 places. As you can see though, it's pretty tight up there. So there's still plenty to play with because we've still got at least 37 matches left. That also means if you haven't got involved in Prediction League yet, there's still plenty of time. Just head to the links in the description. One will tell you how to take part. And the other one is the link to the entry thread for game 10. Anyway, with that, let's roll the titles. It's game week 10. And we are at home against Carlisle. The odds have us as being favourites. And this is first against 20th, so we should win it. Although we both have strong recent form, so it might not be as easy as it seems. We are without Richard Everton again, and Jake Reeves still isn't fully fit. They are missing Etahu and Thomas. And they've got Erindale and Guy, who are doubtful. Lineup wise, we're sticking with the same team as last time. So that's McGee in goal, Mella, O'Connor, Paldi. Wood in defence, Pritchard and Cook in midfield, Middleton to fit on the wings, McCarthy and Donaldson up top. On the bench we've got O'Donnell, Ross the reserve goalkeeper, Henley, Tyler French keeps his place because Stoughton picked up a hamstring injury playing for the under 18s. And then we've got Devine, Guthrie, Conley and Novak. So for team talk, let's stay on calm. I'm going to say we've been on a good run lately, so let's go out there and impress me. For the defenders, I'm going to keep it on calm. And, no, I'm going to passion it. I'm going to say expectancy, solid display. Midfield, we're going to do the same. And attackers again, we'll do the same again. Cut off the throw. Finds what? What looks up and tries to find a pass, but plays it to Hunt. Hunt isn't expecting it. Donaldson's in. Donaldson 1 0. 49 seconds in, and we'll do goal up. This could be a whitewash. See on the replay what? He has options, although it is good pressing. That's an awful ball. Hunt wasn't expecting it. Donaldson just hit the target. Keeper should have probably done better, actually, though, because Donaldson's finish wasn't perfect. Corner for Middleton. Any doubt, Scoogle gets on the end of it, but what's the ref? He's given Woody yet a card. That's him out the next game. Let's have a look at this in slow motion, what happens here. So he closes in. Does he clip him? Doesn't look like any contact. A bit harsh, that, for the yellow card. Corner for Middleton. Finds Donaldson quite far out. He heads it to the bit, then back to Donaldson. Donaldson into Pritchard. Pritchard's first shot is blocked by the defender, then second shot blocked by his own man. Mello picks up the ball, dives across the field. There's a good ball into Pritchard. Pritchard gets his cross in. Cook! He's headed straight at the goalkeeper. Middle of another corner. O'Connor! It's in! It's been given to McCartan. Did he really touch that? So, the corner comes in. O'Connor out leaps his defender, and McCartan yet nicks it on the line. Let's have a closer look here. It looks like it's going in, is it? He didn't need to touch it. O'Connor won't be happy, and neither will anyone who's predicted the uh, O'Connor goal in the prediction league. Anderton to Loft. Loft plays back to Anderton. Anderton's cross. McCoy's found him really out of space, but the keeper takes it with ease. Middleton looks to cut inside. Plays it. Pritchard has got some space. Drives forward. Plays it to Mella. Mella takes on his man, but he can't get the ball, but it gets back to him. Mella. And Middleton shoots, but the keeper saves it with ease. Middleton plays it down the line to Cook. Cook turns. Plays it across the field to find Pritchard. Pritchard drives forward, takes a shot. It's deflected wide for O'Connor. O'Connor to Powdy. Powdy plays long ball. Donaldson nods it on. Should be the keepers, but knows a mix up between Hunt and him, but they get rid of the danger. Wood with long throw. Out by Webster. But the bit on the edge area of the body, but can't keep it down. Middleton to free kick. O'Connor finds himself with a yard of space, but he can't make the target. And that's the last action of the half. As you see with the stats, we're dominating 14 shots to 1. Although we're lacking hitting the target, with only 4 of them being on target. And we've created no clear cut chances. Possession wise, we're dominating 63%. And we're dominating on passes completed as well, and 83%. And tackles won 86%. And headers won for once, we're actually winning that 71%. Donaldson's been our best player on a 7.2. Mellor's been struggling though. He can't get his crosses in. He's completed no crosses whatsoever. 
and he's on 6.5. So for the halftime tea talk, let's go passionate. And I'm very happy with the way things are going. Corner in the second half. O'Connor's up his scores. McCartan decided not to steal that one this time. Got the goal he deserves. So good. Outswinging corner. And O'Connor just leaps higher than anyone. And it's a good header. Hunt plays it forward. Olumba knocks it on. But Cook does well to read that and get control of the ball. Plays it back to O'Connor. O'Connor plays it across to Powdy. Powdy strikes forward and finds Cook again. Then the Pritchard. Pritchard switches out to the wing. And De Vitt's running with it. Pulls it back to Pritchard. Pritchard strides forward, sweeps the ball out to Middleton on the left. Middleton's cross first time. It's headed out only as far as Meller, who then finds De Vitt and De Vitt's shot. Can't find the back of net. Another corner. This time comes in and it's headed out. But Middleton picks up the loose ball. Another good cross and Donaldson leaps above the defender and heads it home. That's 4-0. Dominant performance here for us at the moment. The initial corner isn't as good as the previous one. But he does well to get the second ball and hits this brilliant in-swing cross. Donaldson leaps much better than defender and just heads a powerful header away. Another corner. This time though it's headed away and Scooper picks up the loose ball and he's driving forward. No one's closing him down. They need to close him down. Why isn't he closing down? But the shot is awful. We got lucky there. McCurdy on the ball. Plays it back to Jones. Who looks for a pass but can't find one to place it back to Wheeler. Wheeler plays it forward to where Loft wins the header. Into McCurdy. McCurdy now just runs past Powdy. We're getting back through us way too easy. Aswood is already missing the next game. And he's on the yellow card. I'm going to take him off. Because there's one of these times he's going to get through. It's going to be a last ditch tackle and get taken out. I'm also going to take off DeVitt for Conley. Throw in. Finds X City play. Nice Percival. But then plays inside to... What? It then plays back to Knights Percival. Percival switches it out to Jones and then to McCurdy. McCurdy plays back to Jones. Jones gets a bit lucky there, but gets behind and can he get his cross in? He does. And Loft heads it straight at the goalkeeper. Middle of the corner. Carlisle defender misses it and on the back post. I kind of follow a brilliant goal home. That's a better finish than some of my strikers. Well, most of my strikers. You can see on the replay. This Carlisle defender really should have dealt with that, but absolute brilliant finish. McCurdy's got behind, he's got options, but well defended by Mellor. McCurdy's striding in the city's half. Connor Woods left massive space, which he's exploiting. McCurdy, he could have played it back, or could have taken a shot, and does neither. Bit of a let off there for us. Okay, now let's bring on Novak from McCartan, and we'll switch Novak to a pressing forward. Mellor with the throw. Finds Pritchard. Pritchard's dispossessed though. And he's into the box. Loft then plays it back. Finds Jones who fires wide from the edge of the area. Pritchard picks up the ball and sweeps it out to the left to Middleton. Middleton sets himself. Tries to cross but it's blocked then. Henley. Go back. Oh brilliant save that. You look it's going in all day. And the keeper gets his hand on it and tips around the post. Keeper plays it long. Loft decks it, does brilliant with that control, but that finish is poor. Could have taken more touches and got closer. Mello for throw. Finds Pritchard back to Mella. Mello strides forward with the ball. And then plays it across to Powdy O'Connor. Powdy plays it out to Middleton. Middleton cuts inside and then sweeps it out to Connolly, who's got space to run into. Can he take on Knights Percival? No, Knights Percival tackles him. And there goes final whistle. 5 0 win, that's a good result. Team talk wise. I don't think there's that much we need to say. They say passionate and a very nice win. And they're all happy. Carlisle certainly came into its second half. Especially during that period between goals 4 and goals 5. We were just much more clinical than them though. We have a look. 22 shots to 11. 11 shots on target. We had no clear cut chances. 56% possession. 70% of the passes complete. 91% tackles. 63 of headers. Our best player was Donaldson with two goals. Worst was Connolly, who, like Meadow in the first half, completed no crosses whatsoever. Player ratings-wise, only De Vitt didn't get a green of the outfield starting 11. He got 6.9. Meadow again had a decent game, but again made four mistakes. He's way error-prone. You need to get that out of him. Milton had a brilliant game. He did make two mistakes, but he had one chance created, four key passes and two assists. And even Cook, 
he made three key passes. Shane Donaldson couldn't get that third goal. That would have been the icing on the cake of that performance. Results in the rest of the league. Cambridge beat Swindon 3-1. Colchester won 3-0 against Leighton Orient. They're now up into third. Crewe beat Salford 3-0. Forest Green won 2-1 against Stevenage. Grimsby lost 2-1 to Macclesfield. Newport and Exeter shared a one all draw. Northampton lost 2-1 to Crawley. Oldham lost 1-0 to Morecambe. Plymouth won 2-1 against Cheltenham. Cheltenham actually on a bit of a bad run. Port Vale drew 1-0 with Mansfield. Mansfield were actually so close to getting their first win of the season. With Mansfield's goal in 4 minutes of injury time. And Walsall beat Scunthorpe. In the league we have now got a 5 point lead. So it's a good start to season. Hope we can continue that. So the next game is against 18th place Scunthorpe away from home. That will take place on Monday the 13th of April and will kick off at 8pm BST. So remember to get your Prediction League entries in before then. And remember if you haven't taken part in Prediction League already, you can still get involved. Link to both the How to Play thread and the Entry thread can be found in the description. It's free to enter, you just need to create a form account. And if you could please like and subscribe this video, that would be appreciated. And we'll see you next time.